Okay. <clears throat> All right, farewell. Actually, I was, I had a supposedly a special warrant for my arrest that I actually had a lawyer that I was hired. And so they, my lawyer had contacted the police precinct and had said, well, if you guys want him, had sent emails, had said, or not emails, sent a fax and a letter saying that if you want to talk to my client, I represent him to get a hold of me and I will negotiate to bring him down. So this whole time I had no, I had no, and no charges were filed because he had kept checking with the district attorney. So, or county attorney, I'm sorry. So, <clears throat> actually I had no idea that I was wanted like that. So I'm leaving my sister's house and there's an apprehension team that was waiting right there. I guess they must have surveillance did or whatever it was, but I was leaving and they rushed from three different angles. I, I heard them screaming, shouting, like John, get on the ground, get on the ground. I laid on the ground, arms out, legs out, and I was kicked in the back of the head about three times, causing my front teeth to shatter. Well, two front teeth got knocked out, two were fractured. My bottom teeth went through my bottom lip, causing me to get stitches inside, outside of my mouth. My nose was popped out of place. I thought it, I feel like it's broken. It was broken, but... Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I want you to give me all of this. But I want to start off a little, little uh, with a few questions. So you're telling me that um, the police department criminal apprehension team was looking for you, that yes. they had tried to reach out to you, and they were referred to your attorney. Your attorney then yes. explained to them that they should contact him if they intended to arrest you, and that you, he would make yes. arrangements. Correct? Yes, exactly, sir. Uh, yes. All right, because I worked on an apprehension team, so I want to make sure I have all the facts right. So at that yes. point. Uh, the police were somehow w surveilling your house and they found you and you yes. were then ordered to submit to arrest and you complied. You laid on the ground. Yes, I complied. Yes, sir. Because I had a feeling, like, I knew, I had been telling my, even my own family, my mom, my sisters, my dad, my close friends, my close relatives, I had been telling them that when they get a hold of me, they're either going to shoot me or kill me. Or they were going to beat me up. Like, I just knew it, sir. Like, I knew that was what was going to happen. I knew it. And it was just the worst feeling knowing that I couldn't, like, there was no way to go around it. And my way to go around it would have been, if had they contacted my lawyer, I would have had no problem going down. I would have had nothing to hide, nothing. Like, I would have had no problem at all. Like, it didn't have to get go down to that. So, so you, so you, so you, so you okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So you anticipated that they might uh, uh, attack you. Why did you feel that way? Yes. The reason that I did anticipate it, sir, well, what led to me being wanted for questioning in the, in the whole first place was that there was an incident December 13th that Phoenix, Phoenix police went to, I'm sorry, because it's kind of so hard to talk, but mm -hmm. Phoenix police went to my residence because of a complaint. I guess someone called for a complaint. I didn't use a complaint or something like that. And they went over to the residence, and we were inside, like, inside the house, and they were knocking. And they were just saying, like, come on, we'll come on, oh, we'll we got enough complaints about, oh, yeah, we want you guys to come out and say, like, they were threatening. They're like, come out and take a beating like a man so we can get this over with. Maybe you guys will learn your lesson, little punks, and there's even way other words than that. I'm being polite saying well, that. Well, hold on. That's why I want to stop. Hold on. Stop right there. This is really important. Um, I yes. told, I completely, first of all, is your mouth bothering you because you have, because of the injuries? Yes, well, because my gums, my, this happened February 24th, and even to this day, my gums keep on bleeding, like, I can't even talk right. Okay, so your mouth is still hurting pretty badly. Oh, yes, like, I went to the dentist, but I was so swollen from having stitches in and out of my mouth, and my gums being so swollen that they couldn't do nothing for me, so they had to schedule it two weeks later. Okay, and and how old are you, young man? How how old are you? I'm 23. You're 23. Okay. Yes. Now, the police at this previous incident were were uh, uh, responding to a noise complaint. Yes, I believe a noise complaint. We later on found out that it was a criminal damage. They said that someone had been outside, mm -hmm. and the sign a, a sign had been criminally damaged. Which to this day, I still don't know which sign it is. Like I'm like, what sign? Like I read the police report. Okay, well, hold on. I don't, I don't want to get too far into that story, but someone had done some, some mis a malicious mischief to a sign, and they thought you guys were involved, so they were outside telling you to come out. Yes, you know, and honestly, sir, the only reason I would see why, because the, the condo that I do live at, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it really was like a middle-aged condo, you know what I mean? And we probably were the youngest people there. So okay. I could see why it probably would go like a 233, but the only thing we would have been guilty of would have been 
music on, and even then, the music wasn't loud. Like I had no neighbors, and we had no been complained on. Okay, so you so they they initially came at you guys uh, because you're mute because well, according to you at the time. Yeah, because yeah, music at the time, but now we're finding out it was a criminal damage charge. Okay, all right, got it. So, long story yeah. short, they come to the house. And what happened during that incident that made you feel that these guys might do violence to you the next time they saw you? Okay, well, yes. So, so they're, they're sitting there saying, come on, this and that. And who's going to go outside when they're sitting there? They're threatening like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they keep threatening and threatening and threatening. And at the moment, we're like, okay, right, well, what do we do? And there's multiple people in the house. And so going outside wasn't really an option, especially, too, because... I actually had a, 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 a ticket for an open container mm -hmm. that I saw to go to like two weeks before, so I knew there was a warrant for an open container. Mm -hmm. We're not going to fire the pier. Mm -hmm. So I would have been arrested anyway. So these cops are sitting there talking, and after a while, like, with them saying, like, yes, after a while of them talking, of all the, the trash talking, like, trash talking was back, went back and forth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I admit it, like, went back and forth between the officers and me in court with a friend also. So okay, okay, well, hold on. Let me stop you. This is important, and I want to make sure we get it down. So what you're saying is that you were having uh, some some heated conversation with the, with the cops. Yes. Now, yes. Who, yes. hold on. Through, through the window. Okay, through the window. Yes. All right, and, and how did it start? Who started it? And, and I want you to use the exact words that the police officers used and give me the exact words that you used, and then tell me how it ended. Okay, fine. So, well, actually, the, the exact words that they were using were the ones that I told you about how they were saying, like, come out, you go, well, I'm going to tell you how what exactly they said. No, I, I, I listen, that's what I mean. Hold like, on, hold on, guys, hold on. Just come out, take the like a man. And so when that no, 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 stop, like anyone, stop. I need you to stop for a second. What I want you to use is that they said, the, if they called you a motherfucker, if they called you a bad word, that's that's a oh, yeah oh yes they were saying all well, that well, like, well then wait a minute okay. stop hold on and one more thing because I have a lot of questions to ask so I need you to pause periodically so you can hear me because okay, I, I have you on a speakerphone all right so let me get back to this I want to describe something so don't say anything till I finish what I want you to okay, tell fine. me is the exact language that was used if they said shit you have to say shit if they said you know whatever the word is use the word that they used and I'm not encouraging you to embellish or use more than they used. Just tell me exactly okay. exactly what they said, and if you can't remember everything, just give me a few of the key uh, uh, descriptive parts of the conversation. Yes, well, the, the main words I would use that really got everyone heated was that, like, come on, you little motherfuckers, you guys need to take a beating like a man, you guys little bitches, you can't man up, and this and that, and when they said that... Hold on, I stop right there. So these were police officers outside your window. Wait, they were police officers. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah, oh, you're interrupting me. Yeah. You got to let me finish my question. These are police yeah. officers who were outside your home talking yeah. to you through a window. And while they were talking to you through that window, they were yelling obscenities. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Did, it, did anyone else in the complex hear them making these comments? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They did. Okay. If I, I hold on, hold on, hold on. If I were to contact those people, would they tell me what you just told me? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. I need I you. To... Say maybe not part for part because they didn't witness it all, but they would say how there was about twenty of them outside, and they're. I thought they were going to break the window down or break the door down because they're hitting it all crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So now, how long did this thing go on, and how did it end? It went on for about, I'd say, about only about three to five minutes, if that, sir. And it didn't go on very long because the music stayed on, so you couldn't actually really even hear. And I'd say about three to five minutes, and they stayed outside. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. They stayed outside for a good three to four hours. Okay, so let me hours. let me stop you there. Taking pictures of the place, taking pictures of my car, like I okay. didn't know I drove because I really got the car like two weeks before. Okay, this is important. Let me stop you again for just a moment. Um, That's what date was this incident that happened, where you, where they came out to your house and, and this incident took place? December 13th. Okay, so this happened on December 13th, uh, before Christmas, last year. Yes, sir. Okay, and 
you had this bitter exchange with the police where they were yelling obscenities at you and you guys are yelling things back at them.